Hello everyone, welcome back to Gent Watches, and today we're going to be continuing with Death Note. Um, I have good news today, in a way. Uh, I, I, nine, episode 19 is going to be fresh on my mind because I just watched it. I just recorded the video of episode 19 and I'm already moving on to episode 20. Um, as I said in the last video, I am pre-recording a bunch of videos uh, to prepare for myself to go to Melbourne. By the time you're watching this video, I should be in Melbourne possibly. Maybe I'll even be coming back from Melbourne um, when this video comes out. So uh, yeah, I'm pre-recording these videos. So uh, the, the, the bad news is I won't be you know being able to read the comments if anyone says anything in the meantime. But the good news is uh, I have all of the information fresh in my head from the previous episode. We had the Matsuda episode. There was a lot of stuff that ha happened there. I had some theories about one of the eye catches um, when you can go or watch that in the previous video. It doesn't matter. Point is we're going to be getting into episode 20. I just brushed my my uh, headset against this thing and it made a really loud noise and scared the crap out of me. But regardless, we're going to be going into episode 20 uh, right here and now. Uh, if you want to watch the full length and get early access, you can get episode 21 right now in full length or this episode in full length on my Patreon account down in the description below. Um, and also go to, go to the comments and comment down below after you've done this video just to, just to let me know what you thought. You know, I love to hear your thoughts. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, let's get into this episode of Death Note. This is episode 20, starting now. Whoa! New OP! Okay! Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. This is so weird. Oh, okay, we're going metal this time. Ooh, I like the visuals actually. Oh, I'm kind of vibing with this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This breakdown. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this matches Death Note's vibe. Oh my god. This is this is nothing like an anime opening, but <laughs> Oh my god! I kind of love it! <laughs> I wasn't super attached to the first one, anyway. That's crazy. First, there is the issue of Hattori's death. That was unavoidable. To be honest, in they, a certain oh, they, sense, I'm relieved. They killed Hattori. We now know what will happen if we try to leave. I think we all understand. I think it's long head guy that Let's is Kira. Just based on his design of and what he said just then. And and that's all they're going to say. There is something very interesting in the last part of this report. You have to give them just Coyle's enough information. We can't afford to take L's existence too lightly. That are beneficial to Yotsubo will likely be noticed by L if they continue on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Gave them just enough Sounds information like to stop them. Coil has figured out what we've been up to. Probably arrest all seven of them. This is not good. Kira well, hasn't been flexible. Why? Why, why isn't it good? He? From now on, we have to be even more careful and to make sure that nobody else happens to notice a trend in these. What's deaths. wrong, El? Now, this looks. This sounds topic. good for you. I think we should focus on ELF insurance. If they expand Elf? the Japanese <laughs> market, Yotsuba and many other companies will lose valuable clients to them. He's been protesting Yotsuba's resort development. Damn, look at light. Zenzai's known to he have is high shocked. Pressure, so we can designate a time for him to suffer a stroke resulting in natural death. Mm. We will continue to monitor these meetings and take note of what they say, how they act, and most importantly, whether the people they choose actually die. If we can confirm the connection between their plans and the deaths, then we'll definitely be able to catch Kira. So if you just wait for these, I, I, this oh. first set to die... What is it? There's no need to yell in unison. Then you have proof. Carry on knowing these people will die? Mm -hmm. That's just immoral. Matsuda's testimony and this footage we've recorded, we have all the evidence. Maybe. So what do you say? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. In, in, three weeks. in order to catch Kira, we are going to need some solid proof. Uh Be hard to get Ozaki. it. Would it be safe to say that if I try calling one of them, the odds of that person actually being Kira is going to be one in seven? Sure. I'm thinking there could be more than one Kira among them. A probability of two and seven at most. Oh. Sure. Judging from their conversations so far, the one least likely to be Kira, but with the most influence is... Nami Kawa. 
If you're going to make a call, <laughs> please use this phone. You can be done with it. Oh, this but dude. They say this guy's least likely Why? to be Kira? Kill them and split their Damn. The, I thought he was most likely to be Kira. <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching everything. Oh. If you are not Kira, or if you are not someone who can contact Kira directly, Let's make a deal. if you complete your end of the deal and cooperate with our requests from now on, then your crimes, no, not just yours, but everyone's crimes, with the exception of Kira's, will be pardoned based on the premise that Kira blackmailed. Oh, this is very interesting. What should I do? Okay, so you you're not here. If about this call, they will panic. You would only be at a loss if I decided to arrest you right here and now. Hmm. Damn it. He already knew what answer I would have given. If he still hasn't uncovered the information we need, then we can go ahead this and seems... kill the targets randomly. I don't know if then they're going to we'll go for this. Month to investigate and repeat the process. Once we get rid of L permanently, but he's we can go selling back to it well. Two or three people a week. Right. Sounds like a reasonable plan. Okay. To we they need went to be for it. extremely careful if we don't want to get caught. Then we're in agreement. We'll give Coyle one. Nice, month. he's a good liar. Agreed. That is all. That went well. <laughs> yeah. Sounded exactly like the sort of thing I would do. And you thought of it quicker than I did. Ooh, that's interesting. It's quite possible that you would be capable of succeeding me. Hmm. What? Why are you being so morbid? You actually might be more capable than I. <laughs> I honestly believe you could take this on. Damn, this is such a sad story. If I should die. Would you take over for me, Azel? He can't, because he's Kira. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't know that, so I would say yes. If he is Kira and just playing innocent, he's sure to say yes. What are you talking about? As long as we're he's joined still by doing these, we plays? Die together anyway. Damn. He thinks that if I am Kira, yep. there are two possibilities. Either I'm just pretending I'm not him and putting on an act, or Kira's power has passed on from me to someone else, and I have mm -hmm. no memory that I was ever Kira in the first place. Miyazaki still believes that I'm Kira. Yep. Even if that power had been passed to someone else, he thinks that I would have planned to have it returned to me once I'm safe from suspicion. And I assume you have planned in that. In other words, he thinks it was a plan to pass on the power and arrange for it to come back to me once I've been oh cleared. Oh my god. Having the power to control the police in every country while being Kira in secret. It's ideal. That would be ideal. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Do, it. Huh? do you think that I'm actually capable of becoming oh. a murderer? Kira? Looking him in the eyes. Even after I help you catch him. That's a strategy you haven't tried. Like that kind of person to you? Yes, you do. I've always thought so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! If all they have is a tenuous connection with him, then Kira will kill them as soon as they're arrested. Mm, I guess that's true. Be sure that Kira is among them, so there's no point in detaining them now. Yeah, I guess you don't Even actually have proof that it's to be one of any them, of them. It will still be quite difficult to determine who the culprit is. That means there's a chance the killings will stop if we take this opportunity to arrest them. But is them. it worth going for I that think chance? That's right. There is a chance. We have to act on it. Is it worth Excuse gambling me, that? You can conduct your investigation under your own direction. Feel free to arrest those men if you like. I will be carrying mm. on my own investigation. But if we don't uncover the entire truth once and for all, Kira will only appear again and the number of victims Oh my will god, Al. <laughs> That's why I believe it's more important to find out who Kira really is. I wonder who will succeed. Well, now light has to come with you. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to have to come. <laughs> why are you going to Amane's room? If you had to choose between light and kid, oh, this is interesting. Kid. What? That's obvious. Of course, it's gonna be light. Uh, uh, oh, really? I'm grateful to Kira and want to meet him someday in person, but that's not true love. I definitely choose light. Aww. It's a precious light <laughs> to catch Kira. Of course I am. <laughs> he says he wants to catch Kira. Now, what will you do? Well, if that's what She'll light support says, him. then I'm gonna support him. No Good. <laughs> Good job, Mesa. So, if you were given the opportunity to work with light on this investigation, I do anything. I could to help light. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Where are you going with this? He discovered that Misa Amane might know who he is. He'll also okay. tell them that Elle brought her in for questioning on suspicion that she was the second Kira. Yeah. That part is true. Thanks to lots of screw up, they may already be considering Misa as their new spokesperson, so this could work. Yeah. Hmm, right. Matsuda might have done something good. Do that. Who knows what could happen to you? <gasps> oh, wow, 
Oh my god, and I believe her. Yep. <laughs> control his victims' actions before their death. If I die, so will you. Not necessarily true. Misa is the one who would grieve most of all. If he has a heart attack, you just cut off their arm. Together. I would never dream about living in a world without light. Yes, that would be dark. <laughs> yes, that would be dark. Trying to get desperate. Oh no! I think I've totally misunderstood you all this time. Oh my god! You're so easy to manipulate, Misa. <laughs> but you actually do understand how I feel, don't you? Yes. Misa is indisputably the most perfect and worthy woman for life. Oh, Yay! God. You're such a sweetie. Thank you, Oh, wow. Lucky. I could actually fall for you. <laughs> Don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's surprisingly wholesome. Yay, trying to hurt. And besides, I would gladly die if it were for you, like... She's so insane. Turning out the location <laughs> of arresting seven people is going to be challenging. I don't suppose you two have any ideas. Mogi? Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, we have a new ED. That's right. Oh, we're still keeping with the meadow, are we? Is this English? No. I do. I think I like the visuals of both these OP and EDs more. Man, they're going all in. Whoa! He's in Tron. I guess I should start by talking about those new OPs and EDs because uh, that was, I I just, I forgot that, I, like I knew that there was a second ED and OP, um, but I just, I, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking about what episode I was up to, I was up to episode 20, um, so we're more than halfway through the series at this point, and, uh, and yeah, they, they have changed the OP and ED, and I quite like it. It's, it's so different. The thing is, I, I enjoyed the first OP and it was cool. Um, but, and like, you know, I, I always, you know, headbang along to it and stuff. I don't, I don't dislike it. Um, but I, there, there was no moment in the OP that I'm like drawn to. I feel like that happens a lot in OPs is, um, is if I really like an OP, I'll find that out by when I'm watching the OP at a certain moment, there'll be a moment that I'm drawn to. And that moment, I have to keep watching the OP uh, intently for that moment or listen to it for that moment. So it, like if I was to think of like some some like really good OPs and stuff, I would I would often think about a certain moment of that OP. I can think of like a, I think it's, I can't remember if it's Polaris, um, the My Hero Academia OP. I think it might be Polaris. Um, but it's got like a, a moment of like showing all of their memories, um, leading up to, showing, showing like well, the memories of them beforehand that made them who they are now. And it shows like Deku's and Bakugo's and Uraraka's or something. And I think that, that moment I was like, oh, I gotta keep watching for that. And then I find other moments that I like. Um, if I'm to use like a show that's airing right now, Licorice Recoil, I, I watch the OP and I, uh, the, those moments there were the cool animation of both Takina and Chisato fighting. That's like a really awesome animation of them like covering each other while they're fighting. Um, and then there's the moment of, of them kicking each other <laughs> in the ass. Um, which is an awesome moment. And then as I rewatched it more and more, I got drawn in by a new moment, which is there's a part where, th you know, they're, they're singing and then someone like harmonizes a different line over that line. It's the part where it's showing like their files. Um, you can go and, re and watch the Licorice Rico opening to hopefully see what I'm talking about. But that that part is a, a an audi audible auditory uh, moment that draws me in. With Death Note's OP, I I enjoy it. There's I have no complaints really about it, but there was no moment that, that drew me in. So when it changed, I'm not like, ah oh, damn, they're changing OPs. I'm just like, okay, what, what do we got now? And this one, I mean, I don't think this one, I have to listen to it a few more times to see if there's a moment that draws me in. Um, but at the very least, it's not boring, you know? <laughs> like it's, at the very least, it is a, it is a cool OP and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot out of it. And I really liked the visuals. I think the visuals of the first OP are okay. Um, I don't I don't mean to just compare them as well. I don't actually like doing that. 
Um, and so if I catch myself comparing OPs too much, I'm going to try to stop myself. But I do think these, these second, this second OP's visuals are quite interesting. <laughs> they, they keep me engaged, keep me watching. Um, and then the ED was solid, uh, but I have nothing to say about the ED. <laughs> it was just, it was just a solid song. Um, so let's talk about the episode. Um, so in the episode we had Nami Kawa. Uh, who is now a mole for them in a way. Um, I really thought that dude was going to be Kira because he had an interesting... Well, he had probably, arguably, in my opinion... Wow, am I going to qualify this sentence anymore? <laughs> um, he has the most interesting design. So I was like, oh, that guy is probably Kira. Especially since the way he spoke up, I was like, it sounds like he's pulling some strings. I was right in a way, in that I do think he has the most interesting design. I think that's on purpose, and I do think he's pulling strings... Um, with other people, but that's exactly why they chose him to be the mole because they didn't think he was Kira But he still is able to pull strings. So that's impressive and uh, that's that's very valuable So uh, they got him on their side and we basically confirmed that he wasn't Kira because we heard his internal uh, in, her, in his internal dialogue where he basically was like man if I do this Kira will kill me So we we pretty much know we're on the right track there and, uh, and we had some Misa and L moments at the end there, where they actually got along a little bit. Um, even though it's mostly L manipulating Misa and Misa being super easily, uh, easily manipulated. I do think L is being somewhat genuine when he, like, gets kissed on the cheek and is like, I could actually fall for you. Like, I think he, I think he's, he's saying that legitimately, like, I think L might be, I mean, I, I think it's been established that L is not great with women um and that's not surprising at all um but at the same time i think uh but i yeah at the same time i think when he says i could actually fall for you i think he's actually being genuine in that moment most of the other stuff i think he's just stringing misa along and trying to get what he wants he's always pushing people and testing people everything's always part of the game but i think that one moment there was something about it that i was like i think he i think he's serious about that bit you know he was caught off guard and he was like in that moment he was like i have to i have to give her props you know like i have to give misa props in this moment i could actually fall for you in, you know, I assume what he means is like in another life or, you know, if you if you pursued me, I'd probably eventually crack. But yeah, good episode. Um, the, the like, I, I mean, obviously there's I do miss the L versus uh, light dynamic. Um, and I feel like we're going to get back to that toward the end of the show. I feel like this it's very possible that this part of the show might be the part of the show that people are not interested in as much and I understand that because it's not really what we signed up for in a way like it's them chasing after like suits you know like just just some dudes and they have personalities and stuff but at the end of the day it's sort of just like an organization that they're trying to take down um so yeah it is it is not what death note w was at the beginning Absolutely, um, but the way it's been put together, I'm okay with this being like a a way for them to stall for time a little bit, which I think is what they're doing, especially with the context of having read Bakuman. If you haven't, if you like Death Note and you haven't read Bakuman, the manga, or watched it, I, I haven't seen more than one season of the anime, but I think the anime is faithful to the manga. Um, but in Bakuman, it's written by the writers of Death Note, and, um, and it basically gives a pretty overt, uh, analogy, a, a pretty overt sort of, they symbolize the, the fact of what happened in real life. Man, that was a terrible construction of sentences. They write about basically what happened in real life, but they do a fictionalized version of it. And, uh, and so a lot of people think that some of the things that they do towards the end of Bakumon are basically the equivalent of how they wrote Death Note and in it it sort of implies that the executives, the editors, the people above them um, forced them to extend the series further than the story that they had written. So I assume watching these episodes now 
with the context of Bakemon, I assume the story that they probably wrote was the L versus Light dynamic, and they had a they had like a nice tight little story, and it's like, but we need to extend this out. Um, so that we can have more chapters come out so that, you know, the anime has more to go off of and so that we can, you know, keep selling these chapters because the whole point of the anime is to sell more volumes and stuff. So, uh, so I assume they were like, okay, we have to put this Yotsuba storyline in the middle of our story and then extend that out and then we can jump back to the story that we actually were wanting to tell. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up there. So, uh, uh, Patreon. Go to my Patreon account, and uh, you can get full-length early access and exclusive videos. If you want the next episode right now, you can go on there and check it out. Um, and also like the video. Comment down below. I mean, I've said a lot of gibberish in this video, but I think I may have also said some interesting things. I would love to hear your opinions. Go into the comments. Let me know. Or you can just comment like, "Hey, great job," or like, "Yeah, I like this video," or "I love Death Note," stuff like that. That's all welcome in the comments as well. Um, but please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.